Before we get started, I'm just going to ask that you hit the subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up so that I know you watched. It's sort of a way of getting you to check in for me. And yes, it does help. Thank you so much. And we will get on to today's video now. What's up, guys? Ty Rivera here. The absolute best LGBTQ comedian in the world. It is Monday, and I guess it's a little bit of a gloomy day for me because a lot of my friends on the Phoenix comedy scene are really bummed out. And it's because maybe a month ago, uh, one of the guys that had been coming out to the open mics, a newer comic, ended up coming up missing and some people that were close with him said that he suffered from depression and they were worried about him and so it turned into a thing where um, you know some people filed a missing persons report and the comics were really like I can't say on this one like the comics weren't really involved or didn't seem to care until they found out the update all the comics I knew uh, were trying to figure out what had happened to him, where he was, and they were very worried. So I guess somebody got news today, and I'm not sure exactly who got the news first, but I just saw a couple of the comics that I am friends with uh, posting that uh, Arthur was his name. And I had met him a couple of times, but I didn't know him well at all, and it wasn't like we ever hung out or anything like that. I maybe saw him at four or five open mics and we never really chatted but apparently he shot himself uh self-inflicted gun wound gun wound was the official um word from i guess the police or whoever had informed so um there's that and i will tell you guys you, you know i joke about all sorts of things but if you are feeling like you need some help or you're uh, going through a hard time, reach out, talk to someone. Maybe a suicide prevention line would also be a helpful tool. Do whatever you have to do and just, you know, I know it's all easier said than done, but that would be my word as far as that goes. <sighs> And like I said, I didn't really know him, so I'm not going to pretend that, you know, I'm so overtaken just by that. Yeah, there is, uh, you know, it is tragic, but what really gets me is that some of the comics on the Phoenix scene that I really care about are really being affected by this. And even though it's only online that I'm seeing them right now, it is heavy on my spirit, you could say that my friends are going through this. So my heart does go out to my friends on the Phoenix comedy scene. I'm sorry that you're going through this. So uh, to switch gears, and I don't really know what the best segue would be, I woke up to a lot of news on Facebook. I know that uh, Second Accuser came out in the Brent Kavanaugh situation, which, you know, there's two things I want to say about that really quick, because the post I saw was one friend being like, when are uh, Republicans going to just accept that this guy isn't the best? And I, both sides do that all the time. Like, I really wish we would stop with the two-party system, and I don't know what the better alternative would be, but it's it's so ridiculous because you pick a side, and then no matter what your side does, it has to be a ride-or-die situation. And that's why I go with more independent thinking, but then you see how when you go with more independent thinking, the way that the system works still tries to force you into going with the two-party system, you know, because in order to make this happen, you have to vote for this person, you have to make sure that these people are voted in, you know, we've got midterms coming up, and that's really showing it all. You know, I am thankful for the whole situation that has happened with Donald Trump because it's made everybody pay more attention to the way that the system works. So hopefully we all come up with a better alternative or a way to deal with things or just you know, force them to do what it is that we need them to do. And when I say them, I mean our politicians, I mean our system, I mean our government. 
instead of just, it, that's why it bothers me so much when people want to pull the, like, you'll be like, okay, yes, let's work on that, but let's also work on this. Well, what about so-and-so? And it's like, ugh, can you not be a child for a minute? Can you just, yes, let's work on all of it. But, you know, well, I could never do that because a Republican would do this. I could never do that because a Democrat would always just say this. And it's just like, stop. Understand that this system has not worked for us. It's not working for us. It's just not. Even when Barack Obama was in office, things weren't perfect. And I voted for Barack Obama twice. So I'm not going to have anybody tell me that, you know, I didn't work with the system at that time or, or you know, so it's just come on like things are never going to be perfect ever that's just the way the world works but we can make things better by putting a little more pressure on our politicians and our system and just being like yeah there's some things that we need to be a bit different and also when it comes to uh, Brett Kavanaugh and that situation. I need to see the see more about the accusations. Uh, I don't like either side of that either. Like when people want you to just blindly believe, I don't think that's fair. And when people want to automatically vilify the victim or the alleged victim then I I feel like that's just as bad and just as unproductive. And it's also very hurtful because in a lot of cases, I think we've learned that these victims aren't just making things up. So when you're a person that's really had something happen to you, which that's a category that I definitely would fall into, and you have people saying the most horrible things to you. You know, you'll have people attacking your looks, You'll have people attacking your credibility. You'll have uh, the other person who, in some cases, is more powerful than you. Like in my case, definitely. Um, so on this one, it's kind of hard for me to speak on in a completely unbiased way. And I'm very honest about that because I have some experience in this, in this, you know, uh, being the victim of harassment and then try, trying to tell people what happened and then having people tell me that I was uh, gaslighting and that I uh, should have been lucky that anybody was attracted to me was one thing I was told by one person, which that's not the story of my life, you know? It's just not something that I've struggled with in my life. But it's still is very insulting. You're just like, that's, that's the way you come at me? Like, I'm telling you that somebody really harassed me. And it wasn't just like a flirting situation. Because that's the other thing. People will say you're overreacting, you know? Like, so what? Somebody flirted with you. And this is a case where he um, allegedly pulled out his penis and uh, put it close enough to her face that she had to touch it and, you know, I guess to block. And it's, there's also the, the fact that some people will think that's funny. Some people will think that maybe it was just some kind of like prank type behavior, which when we're talking about the eighties, cause I think this happened in the eighties was what it said. Uh, that behavior was, was accepted and it's unfortunate. And I think that's where we as a society need to own that there were times in our recent history, because the 80s wasn't that long ago, uh, there were times in our recent history where we considered this kind of behavior acceptable. We considered this to be uh, just boys being boys and guys having fun. And I'm not one of those people that's going to do the whole toxic masculinity speech with you and men are the worst and any of that kind of stuff. Like we as a society have just grown a lot since the 80s. So one thing that we need to do, though, is acknowledge where, as a society, we failed some of these people. Uh, in a lot of cases, it has been women. Not in all cases. That That's something that also needs to be acknowledged. Sometimes I notice 
that women want to, uh, some women, not all women, some women want to make sure that we know that they are the only victims. And then it's like, well, no, if you have other people that have gone through the same thing, in some cases, the same thing or something similar, and those people happen to be men and they want to come forward too, then I think it's best for all of us to say, yeah, this is a problem. Male, female, it's a problem. And it's something that needs to be addressed. And it's something that we need to be very clear about as far as the people that are in power or considered to be more powerful in the situation where the, because sometimes the dynamic is there's a female that's in power and is abusing that power. Not something that came out during the Me Too situation on the LA comedy scene. There was one woman in particular that several male comedians called out and were like, yeah, she's been a total creep. And she was uh, not only, is not only a comedian, she's also books and runs a comedy school. So it's it's like you can't go after like Second City, or not Second City, excuse me, Second City. You can't go after uh, Upright Citizens Brigade and say that they're... Uh, the way that their power dynamic was set up made it so that men could be predatory towards women and say that there's something wrong with that, which would be true, and then not acknowledge that there's another where the female is doing that to the men and not address that because then it doesn't really make sense. And then it also puts it in a position where you're saying to women, now you matter and men don't, which for a long time, it used to be more like men mattered and women didn't, and neither should be the case, in my opinion. But people will always find a way to argue, and I'm sure that I've said something in this vlog clip that somebody is going to think was offensive and could have been said differently, and now I'm victim blaming or doing something. But uh, I would ask you as my uh, viewers to not fall into that and just let me know what it is you think and where you're, you're at on it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, it does help, believe it or not. And not only me getting to know you're watching, but the YouTube algorithm to get to know you're watching. And so uh, I appreciate you guys, and I hope you all have a lovely Monday. Mwah.